got my new capacitor in for this 30 microfarad cool pump. As you can see, it's been running just fine. I just have to push start it every time that I shut the motor off, turn it back on. Uh, but this will start it on its own. So I'm going to show you here what's going on. You can see the motor spindle spinning. But if I turn it off, Timer here. See the motor spindle stop, and if I try to turn it back on, it won't start on its own. And it's able to spin start it by spinning the spindle, but we want it to start on its own. Now, what you need to know is a capacitor holds the charge even after the power is disconnected. So what we need to do is discharge the capacitor. The easiest way to do that is to bridge the lead with the screwdriver holding the, only the insulated portion of the screwdriver. Just to demonstrate, I'll show you on the new capacitor. Again, this holds the charge even after the power is disconnected. What you got to do is bridge the leads. You won't see a spark or anything. Discharge. Well, 99% of the time, you won't see a spark, I should say but it'll discharge the charge. Anyway, we've got two screws that hold it on the top. This particular one has Phillips slots, as well as the hex head. And uh, this tool works awesome for that because you can also use the hex head if you need to. Anyway, there's our capacitor. And again, we need to discharge the capacitor originally and then that'll make it okay to work on the system. Okay. And now I'll just slip the leads off. You should just use my screwdriver, like so, up and under the wheel. And now we're all set. Here's our new capacitor. One lead to each side. Nice and easy. And then now here's our cover. And we just want to make sure this is oriented the right way to line up with our gasket. It's got that gasket material to keep any water from getting in there. And now I can put my screws back in. One on each side. And as you might have seen in my previous video, I was able to push start the, uh, the motor. But that's kind of annoying. We want it to start on its own. But anyway, I was able to turn it on and then spin the inner spindle. Anyway, there we go. We're all set there. And now we'll test it out. See if it starts on its own. There it is. Started right up on its own. I no longer need to assist start it. I believe the air from the line time for me to clean out my filter so that's another story I'll pop it all apart clean the filter to lower the, the pressures anyway we're good to go there one new capacitor okay so putting the back cover on it'd be safer to turn the, the power out but also give me a chance to clean out the filter basket my Billy Club screwdriver works really good for opening those up. It's definitely one of my favorite favorite tools. Oh, they're nice and clean there, so no biggie there. It doesn't hurt to check. One little doodad there. A couple tiny little doodads. No biggie. Alright.
back here, we'll just line this up. Yep, that's replacing the uh, 30 microfarad capacitor. With the capacitor, you always want to match the microfarads. And with the voltage, you can go up, you just can't go down. So you can go to a 440, but you can't go down, or you don't want to go down. <laughs> you can, but it might not work. Um, but with the farads, you want to match the microfarads because that affects the wave, the pulse pattern. You see a little bit of a bulge on the top of this. Anyway, feels like it's leaked a little bit of oil. Anyway, this one's toast. Good to go. That's how to replace the pool capacitor. I'll just turn my motor back on, make sure everything fires up like it's supposed to. Relieve the air from the line. And we're all set there. Yeah. Okay, here's testing a uh, microfarad capacitor for a pool. This is a pool motor capacitor. It should be 30 microfarads plus or minus 5. On my field piece meter, I'm setting it to microfarads here. I'll set it here where you can see it. We're going to go we'll disconnect the leads from our pool motor, discharge the cap, and then now we'll test it one side to the other, see what our microfarads are. As you can see, we're definitely bad here. It's showing 0 0.019 uh, microfarads. So this is definitely a bad cap. Good to go. Anyway, now I'll re-discharge the cap before discarding it and replace that with a new one. All set there. Good to go.